Joining me to break it all down for us is health and wellness coach, April Lund. Good morning to you, April. Good morning. And normally you're in studio with us, but that's not the case today. You're kind of pulling double duty. Where are you and what are you doing? Well, I am in Huntsville, Alabama at the National Junior College Athletic Association Cross Country Championship with Bismarck State College. So um, we did so amazing. It's so wonderful. I just have to take a second to brag on our university and our students. So our men went in unranked. No one knew who we were. It gives me goosebumps. And we got eighth overall um, out of the nation. And we have an All-American, Eric Hasby, on our team, um, and a couple people that just missed All-American. So uh, in our girls, we got 21st in the nation, which is awesome. And Ava Stafford was less than three seconds away from All-American. And it's just really, really exciting. Um, when we're talking about volunteering, I obviously I'm a health and wellness coach, but to be able to give back to our community and give back to these student athletes is just such a wonderful experience. I almost feel selfish because they've given me something that I didn't know that I needed. And I think all of us need to find some way to give to others that help us feel good about ourselves. Um, and finding that external outlet is just so, so important. But I'm so proud of them and I'm so excited for them and so excited for our future. And we race one more time on Tuesday, so. Oh my goodness, yeah. So you, so you're like you were saying, you're so busy with all of the different things that you're doing, and I feel like a lot of people feel that way, where they're, you know, I've got to take the kids to this activity, I got to do this for work. That you know, we all have our own schedules that we're trying to keep up with. But volunteering is a good way to give of yourself. But like you said, you you also feel like it it gives back to you at the same time. It does. You know, um, I feel like. So I, I really believe this with all my heart and it's why um, our GYS track club and also even my college team, I feel like we need to volunteer at least once a month in our community because I feel like every athlete is one injury away from an addiction. Um, and whatever that addiction might be, it could be food, it could be gossip, that food, that, uh, or it could be alcohol, drugs, whatever it might be. We need to find other ways to help ourselves feel good and to set a good example for our friends, our family, our community. Um, as a family, I love places that we can volunteer. Special Olympics is a great place that you can volunteer as an entire family. The Cancer uh, Center in Bismarck is a great place. Um, you can volunteer at the Y, the United Way. There's so many places that even as a family, from your littlest guy to your biggest guy, that you guys can volunteer and make a difference. Absolutely. And the, like you said, it's, you know, something that the whole family can get involved in. And you mentioned the, the polar plunge. Um, you know, it's been going on for a while, but for, for maybe people who haven't heard of it before, what can you tell us what it, the polar plunge is about and who benefits from it? Yeah, so the polar plunge is really awesome. I think this is my sixth year being on the board for Special Olympics polar plunge. And um, it is the number one fundraiser in the country for Special Olympics. And Special Olympics impacts directly over 1,200 athletes. Um, locally with 2,500 volunteers and coaches, and it's all at no charge. Um, and it's fitness year round. They do snowshoeing, they do basketball, they do bowling, but it's really an opportunity to keep um, everyone active. And I believe everyone should get fitness and health on their level. And I just, I believe in Special Olympics so much. Um, Special Olympics North Dakota is just wonderful. There's many fundraisers that they do, another big one, um, is the Special Olympics torch run and we leave from the Capitol steps and we run uh, downtown uh, to Shields. It's wonderful. But um, the polar plunge is going to be this year, November 18th at the pier. And like I said, it's our number one fundraiser and we still need plungers. Yeah, so I have a couple of questions about that, April, as we're, you yeah. know, asking people to do this. Uh, first, I want to know, how deep is the water? Is it like just, do you kind of walk into like a, uh, a pool type of thing? Or are we like actually jumping into the water uh, outside the pier? Yeah, so every year is different. So our first couple years, and they're all throughout the country, uh, a lot of people use receptacles or like a um, like a huge bin. I know our first couple of years we did like this huge trash bin in the Elks parking lot. Um, but we are actually jumping in the river at the pier. It is, I did it two years ago and I belly flopped right in there. I'll never forget it. It was so exciting and so much fun. Um, and though, and we have uh, specialized divers on the side and um, just in case there were anything, but it can be 
uh, up to foot deep, up to, I think, 10 feet off of the pier, just depending exactly where you jump off of. Oh my gosh, that's so, that is, that it's inspiring and scary all at the same time. So uh, now I'm kind of thinking about the logistics of this. You know, how, where do you change, like, because you, you're probably going to want to be pretty warm before you do that, and you're going to have want to have warm, dry clothes after. So, how do you? Where do you go to change, or how does that all work? So the pier is so wonderful, and Stephanie does a really good job, her and her husband, of setting up. Not only do we feed all the participants wonderful food, we feed all the volunteers, but upstairs they have their own individual changing rooms, and you're able to jump yourself or you're able to jump as a team. And a lot of people, like when Sister Melissa and I jumped, we uh, dressed up as mermaids. So there's a lot of different costumes um, and a lot of different prizes that they give out too. But there are changing areas, and then we have towels to wrap around you as soon as you're done, which is nice. That is nice. You know, if, if, if we can get a towel warmer out there for those people, I think that would be even better. <laughs> Sometimes we have a heating lamp, and this year maybe we don't need it. Who knows? Yeah, no, yeah. If, the, if the weather holds out the way it is, we won't need them. <laughs> Right. So the April, there's ways that people can donate. They can kind of support the plungers on their journey to this. Uh, how can people donate who donate online or you can donate in person? Um, how do they check on a participant's progress towards their goal? Yeah, so you can go to uh, Special Olympics Bismarck and you can check to see how your plunger is doing. Also, if you want to volunteer. So, you know, I actually have people that have came up to me and they've given me a hundred dollar check because it's a hundred dollars per plunger. Um, they've given me a hundred dollar check because they don't want to plunge, but they want to pay for someone else to plunge. Right. Um, and so you can volunteer that way uh, with your money, with your time. You can also jump as a team which is really exciting. So I know like the police department and the fire department, sometimes they do a rivalry, which is really awesome. And they dress up uh, the police department dressed up as firemen falling asleep and they all just kind of fell in. Oh my God. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty exciting. Um, and they do do a lot of awards for like most money raised as well. And you can go, each plunger has their own site that you can get that from as well. So uh, yeah, April, you're kind of inspiring me here. You're getting my wheels turning. So if I give you $100, can I give it to you and say, this is for me not to plunge, but for Wayne to plunge? Um, I totally, I would jump with Wayne if you did that. <laughs> I'm going to pass would, that. Wayne, you have home. been gauntlet challenged to do that. <laughs> this so, could be the best $100 I've ever spent. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so exciting. So. Uh, and on another oh, no. note, you but with cold plunging, Wayne, what you have to understand is it's a really big deal, like for your health. So actually, we had the whole team in the pool out here. The water was like 40 degrees last night, and it helps with your dopamine, your serotonin. You can sleep better. It helps with depression. It helps with anxiety. It helps burn your belly fat off of your stomach. It's cold plunging is really, really awesome. So it's good for you besides donating and helping out the Special Olympics, which is a wonderful cause. Absolutely. There's lots of people out there paying good money to go sit in cold water. So you might as well do it for a good cause while you're here. That's right. Great. So April, we, we got about 30 seconds left. Are there any other prizes that you want to go over or just reiterate the details of the when, why, and how for this? Yeah, so anybody 18, uh, 18 and above can do it. If you're under 18, you just need uh, a waiver from, from a family member. Um, youngest, oldest, best costume, most money raised, um, a belly flop contest. I mean, I feel like Wayne, Wayne and I are going to do this. I don't know. You've been challenged. Uh, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do this. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me or you can reach out to Special Olympics North Dakota. And I'm at aprilunfitness.com. Wonderful. Well, April Lund, thank you so much for joining us today. It was uh, really special to be able to talk to you, especially while your team is competing. But thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Stay with us. We